ever wondered how to give your DIY projects their own voice? Hey, Maison Up, your desk plant needs water. The soil moisture is low. Please water your plant soon to keep it healthy. Or maybe you've thought about creating your very own MP3 player. <laughs> Today at Mason Up, we'll show you how easy it is to add audio to any DIY project using this tiny but powerful module, the DF Player Mini. The DF Player Mini is a compact yet powerful MP3 player module, perfect for DIY projects. It supports microSD cards up to 32GB, formatted in FAT16 or FAT32, ensuring smooth audio playback. You can use it as a standalone player or control it with a microcontroller like Arduino or ESP32. With its built-in amplifier, it can drive small speakers directly, while URT communication and DACI output allow for advanced audio control and high-quality external amplification. Plus, you can organize your audio files into 100 folders, holding up to 255 tracks, making it incredibly versatile for any project. The DF Player Mini features a simple and intuitive pinout, including power pins, speaker outputs, and URT communication pins for seamless control. It also provides DAC output pins for cleaner audio, perfect for connecting an external amplifier. We'll cover more on external amplification later. Now that we've covered the basics, let's dive into our first example, a soil moisture sensor that triggers an audio alert. For this demo, you'll need an ESP32, a DF player mini, any soil moisture sensor with an analog output, a micro SD card, and a speaker. Follow the wiring diagram to set everything up, and let's get started. With the hardware setup complete, let's dive into the code. The full code is available in the description. Open it in the Arduino IDE and follow along. We start by adding essential libraries for communication and display management. Hardware Serial and DF Robot DF Player Mini handle MP3 playback, while Wire, Adafruit GFX, and Adafruit SH110X manage the OLED display. Next, the DF Player Mini is initialized for MP3 playback using UART. RX connects to GPIO26 and TX to GPIO27 with a 1 kilo ohm resistor to prevent voltage mismatch. The OLED screen displays real-time soil moisture readings using I2C on GPIO 22 and 21. The soil moisture sensor connected to GPIO 34 provides analog readings. If moisture drops below 3500, an alert is triggered. In the setup function, serial communication and ADC settings are configured. The OLED screen is verified, cleared and updated. The DF Player Mini's connection is established with volume set to 20. If not detected, an error message appears. The system continuously monitors moisture levels. If they drop too low, MP3 file 015 plays, and the OLED blinks a warning every 500 milliseconds to prompt action. With the code ready, hit upload. Now, let's prepare the memory card. Record your voice or use a text-to-speech converter to create an MP3 file. Format your SD card as FAT32, then save the file using a numeric name. In our case, it should be named 015. Remember, the DF Player Mini only recognizes files with numeric names. Text-based names won't work. Finally, insert the SD card into the DF Player Mini and test it in action. Hey, Maison Up, your desk plant needs water. The soil moisture is low. Please water your plant soon to keep it healthy. And that's it. We've built a soil moisture sensor that triggers an audio alert using the DF Player Mini. But what if you could take this further and build your own MP3 player from scratch? In part two, we'll cover button controls, track navigation, volume adjustments, and more using the DF Player Mini and ESP32. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. All codes and files are available in the description, and if you have any questions, drop a comment. We're happy to help. See you in part two. 
where we turn this into a real MP3 player.